incredible visionaries and light workers and leaders. It's me, Lori Ann Spagna. I want to just chat with you for just a few moments, really briefly, about this idea of how to navigate the density in the physical world. When you know you're becoming more conscious, sorry about the shaking there, and you're recognizing that it becomes more and more challenging to interact with people in the physical world who are not as awakened as you are or who are not necessarily as elevated as you are, and you're trying to navigate those relationships. This happens all the time for all of us on the journey as we're awakening. You recognize you've got all this consciousness that someone else doesn't necessarily get or they're not really there or they don't necessarily want it. You can argue with them. You can debate with them. You can get entangled with them and then you get drained, depleted and exhausted. Or you can love them so much that you're trying to help them to awaken in some way, or you're somehow trying to offer them some pearl of wisdom or some insight, and you realize either they're not taking it or it's just not landing, right? And at the same time, it's very likely that you yourself, you're engaging with them. And to some degree, you're like, I don't want this person to bring me down, or I don't want to buy into their lower belief systems, or I don't necessarily want to agree with what they're saying, or I don't want to take on that energy. A lot of times highly sensitive beings feel that way. Here's what's really happening. You're seeing to some degree in the mystical realm an aspect of yourself that you're not resolved with. So the sooner you can get to a neutral state, look at them, engage with them from a place of neutrality, which the way you do that is in your mind. You simply just namaste them, just namaste, wish them peace on their journey. If that's the path they're choosing, let them recognize that when there's enough density in their field, they will reach a point of some form of contraction in their own journey that somehow forces them to choose the light, right? They'll choose the, by light, I mean some form of elevated or expanded or uplifting choice because they won't be able to sustain a contracted state. Contracted states are not sustainable. So a contracted state for them is some form of disagreement, disharmony, unpleasantness, stress, anxiety, fear, worry, um, disbelief, skepticism, cynicism, and you come in their space and you're either noticing that you don't enjoy that experience or you're noticing like they're not willing to receive whatever light you have to offer them. Bless them. Bless them on their way. Wish them peace and recognize that's not where you're aligned. It's an aspect of your consciousness you haven't made peace with. Make peace with them. Send them peace. Wish them well and turn and face the light, which is the expansion more growth, more evolution for you and let them come into alignment in their own divine timing because you can't argue and debate with people who are in a space of argument and debate. It's they're wired into argument, debate, skepticism, cynicism, disagreement. You know, they you, you could say up and they'll say down. You could say left and they'll say right. That stuff is old 3D patterning, old 3D programming, old paradigm ways of behaving. And you can never, ever escape that because it becomes its own spider web of entanglement and entrapment. So don't even try. Even if there are people, if there are people who are strangers, you it's easier. You just wish them peace, get out of that entanglement as fast as you can. The way you get out of it is through peace and neutrality, divine neutrality, the energy of allowance, allow it. They're making their free will choice. If it's someone you really love and you're more engaged, it's harder, right? Because you care for them. You want to help them. But you understand the law of free will means that if they want to stay believing or perceiving, behaving or wherever they're at, they have every right. And you cannot break that law. So let them have their experience. Say a peace prayer. Wish them well in your mind, mentally. Namaste them in your mind. And then allow it to be what it is. They're on their journey too. And, and there's no sense in getting entangled with that. No matter how much you love them, it will just drain, deplete, and exhaust you to attempt to change them. That's not what they want anyway. They just want to be accepted for who they are. So just do that. Give them what they need. Accept them as who they are, where they are. 
the way that they are. Let them be that way. Namaste them in your mind and move towards the light. Say a prayer for them if you want or wish them peace, love, consciousness on their journey, whatever feels right. Let that be because trying to push something on someone or force them to agree or believe or get them to somehow change, that's a tool of the dark. That is trying to coerce or dominate or manipulate them. Whether or not you realize that's what it is, that's what it is. The dark agenda is to try to push your point of view on another or force them to be something that they're not or get them to change or get them to be controlled. Or And even if you think your intentions are the most benevolent best, if they don't want to change or see something different or perceive something different, it's not for you to decide that for them. So wish them well. Bow to them in your mind. Say peace. Wish them consciousness. Say a prayer that they get the gift of consciousness. If they're in some form of contracted state, eventually they will seek more light to get out of that contraction because light feels better. Light always feels better. It's not a contracted state. It's an expanded state. So allow that to happen for them in their own divine way and allow yourself the gift of grace by not trying to force anything on anyone and choosing a higher path. Just namaste them, just allow it. And the last part is if you are worried about taking something on and you don't wanna do that, that means you need to work with even more light too because when you learn how to really be the light that you are, you don't have to take anything on from anybody. You start to realize that you're the light that everyone wants and everyone's looking for because they haven't found it yet. All right. I hope this is helpful. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you lots of love. Farewell for now. Bye-bye.